Hello. Hattie, darling? Guy, dear, where are you? Uh, on 10th, over by Charlie's. Is this a good time? Where are the kids? Yeah, it's fine. They're glued to the set. What's with the sudden call, huh? You got news? Well? Guy, whatever it is, it'll be all right. Okay? I love you. The kids love you. We'll be okay one way or the other. All right? I want you to know that, dear. I need you to know that. I do know that. Well, then? I just want to preface this by saying I had two eggnogs. Only two. And you know, how do you know I can handle my eggnog? I've always been able to do that. Never been a holiday, I've been so much just snooking on them. Guy, wh what? Hattie? Hattie, what if I told you that we had to move north? Would that be okay? Would it be okay if we moved north? Yeah, sure. It's our family. It's our livelihood. I guess it would have to be okay. How far north are we talking? Uh, far. Again, how far? Like, all the way far. What's all the way? The pole. The pole? The North Pole? Yep, the very one. Guy, you know, I know how much this holiday means to you. And I know how much you enjoy making up these fantastic Yuletide stories for the children. All right, but this is serious. Come on, I really thought you had a job. The relief I felt when I thought this was no longer going to be... I a do have a job. I do. I know what a tough time it's been. I wouldn't joke about this. And I wouldn't go telling... No fantastic Yuletide stories about it either. What, you have a job at the North Pole? That's the short of it, yes. What's the long of it? Hmm? What? What is it? What? You're in cahoots with Santa Claus? We are not in cahoots. We are partners in presence. And that's what Santa says. Okay. All right, so uh, this is Santa Claus you're going to be working for, huh? It is. Okay, and you're aware that there's no such thing as Santa Claus, right? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, I was aware there was no such thing until I became aware that there was a such thing. As Santa Claus. Correct. Santa Claus, Kris Kringle, St. Nicholas, Father Christmas, my future employer and partner in presence. Oh, boy, this is, this is rich. It is. Yeah, as rich as that eggnog. It's not the nog. I told you it's not the nog, Hattie. If anything, I'm quite simply drunk on happenstance. Okay, so where did this happenstance happen? That's why I love you, Hattie. You are as open-minded as you are beautiful. Oh, thank you, dear. Where? Okay. I stopped down Charlie Cigars after a few dead-end meetings. I was feeling pretty low and about my current status as an unemployed, but I figured it would do me no good to dwell. No good at all. So I decided I could either hang my head reduced to failure, or I could reward myself for an afternoon's effort with a bit of Charlie's finest blend of back. The, t the expensive stuff? Yes, but before you But go we can't on, afford the expensive stuff. Hattie, would you please? There's more to this than pipe tobacco. <sighs> okay. So, as the boys were dealing that chatter, talking up everything from Ike to the Yankees to the trials and tribulations of the holiday times, all the while huffing and puffing away, and in walks this man. And I see him out of the corner of my eye. So there I am, one ear to the conversation, and one eye on the guy. The, the guy being Santa Claus? Are we calling him that yet? For matters of specificity, sure. Let's get right to calling him Santa. Okay, I'm with you. So... One of these fellows says how he hates the damn holidays. Now, he's got in a fancy suit, smoking his fancy cigar, and he's talking like some kind of ingrate. And here's the worst of it all. Damned if the others don't fall right in line with this joker. Airing it all out right there. Saying that they wish there was no Christmas. And Santa's hearing. He minds his business, but he's at the counter, and he's rifling through his pockets in a panic. Now it became more apparent to me that Santa has not a cent on him in a bag of the counter to buy. Oh, Charlie's a well-meaning guy, but, you know, he's not too big on charity. So Santa would seem to be out of luck. 
Oh, like, this is not a good day for Santa, huh? We have to stand in indifference as folks knock his livelihood and not even so much as a bag of tobacco to show for it. For all that these fellas spoke in resentment of the holidays, it only made me sit and consider all I loved about them. Job or no job. So I approached the man. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't I know what? He had a bag on the counter of the same tobacco I just purchased. I greeted him with a good day, and he good dayed me right back. Well, what did he look like? What, what, did his eyes twinkle? Was his mouth drawn up like a bow? No, nothing like that. Well, then like what? Well, Hattie, he... He had quite dark skin. He was black? It was like he was everything. Every ethnicity under the sun. I cannot begin to find the words to explain it. Oh, that's not how I imagined him. Well, you imagined that he didn't exist at all. So what kind of authority does that make you? All right, so what did you say to Santa? Well, at this point, I did not know he was Santa, remember? What I knew was he was a man that could use a bit of generosity. So, though I could not afford to buy him the tobacco, I offered him a pipe full of mine. And he accepted? He did. Then we sat. Then we talked. I asked him what he did for a living, to which he told me... Manufacturing. Yes. I told him how I was out of work, but it wasn't going to keep me down. I proudly expounded that I had four interviews today and four more tomorrow. And then, obviously, uh, I went on to give him an earful about how Holiday King Compadre is sitting off in the distance. Yeah, and I bet he gave it right back, huh? No, he didn't. He didn't at all. He said he could hardly blame them. He said the hardest thing in life sometimes is finding the will to believe. And Christmas, well, Christmas is just that. Believing. What, believing in Santa Claus? No, Hattie. Believing in love, in generosity, believing in good. Yeah. Yeah, well, Christmas is that. You bet it is. So please try and believe me. And believe in what I'm telling you as it is the God to honest truth. All right. All right, go ahead. I want to hear more. I do. Okay. So, on we smoked our backy and on we chatted. Charlie had the radio on and, and the carols and they were mixing all too well with the Cavendish Hattie. I was smitten feeling very nostalgic. So I got to telling him about my favorite Christmas ever. Yeah, well, it's such a sweet story. I always love hearing it. Yeah, but as I started to tell the story, I got not one inch of the way into it when he began to tell it to me. Bobby's broken truck, the snowfall at noon, finding the two extra packages for me behind the tree when we got back from church. He said he made a special trip back with them because of the generosity I showed to my little brother giving him my truck so he'd be happy. So I asked, special trip? And he smiles. And I knew, and he knew, I knew, and we smiled together. Is this true? Every word of it. He knew it all. That and so many other Christmas memories of mine. He knew them, but more importantly, he knew how much I always loved the holiday with all that I am. And he said there could be no better person by his side to assist him through the season. God, what? It's like he's been vetting you since childhood. He has. He really has. It's my calling, Hattie. A call to be a partner in presence? You're talking to him. I gotta stop by going over his books and such, making sure the work is done in a timely and economic fashion. Not far off what I did at the plant. Guy? Whatever this was, whatever this is, I'm on board, all right? Okay, so here's the deal. I'll be home as fast as I can get there. You need to go and get the kids ready. Prime away from the box somehow. We leave tonight. Uh, guy, come on, we couldn't possibly. There's so much to do. Look, I have to pack, I have to call the Hattie, family. we'll have help. Plenty of it. You need not fret, darling. Guy? Yes, Hattie? Guy, I'm surrounded by elves. Uh, there's so many of them! Mrs. Kessner, I'm Tyke. Where do we start, ma'am? With the china cabinet, I guess. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Candy cane? Sure. Oh my god, that that's delicious. That's This is great. This is the best candy cane I've ever had. God, that's really good. I'll see you soon. And Hattie. Merry Christmas, darling! <laughs> yeah, it certainly is that. 
Hey, thanks for being present, partner. <laughs>